Canelo Alvarez and Jamel Charlo had their press conference today. Their first press conference took place today. And it's a big fight. I was going to wait to do the new intro. Same song. But I was going to wait to do the new intro. Probably, probably, I'll probably wait towards the end of the year to get some of the biggest moments of 2023 and then put that in the compilation and have something new for you guys soon. But Canelo Alvarez and Jamel Charlo, it wasn't no animosity. It wasn't anything like that. Um, a lot of respect between dude. Jamel Charlo shook out his hand and shook his hands and all this. And I don't think I've ever seen Jamel Charlo necessarily do that before, a fight before. Um, but he's in a big moment with Canelo Alvarez. Really, really big moment with Canelo Alvarez. Now, looking at Jamel Charlo, he's really lean. He's still pretty lean, right? And he looks huge. The skull alone. Is huge, and this is why I used to call them the horse heads. Him and his brother had some horse heads and big ass heads. And I don't think he's coming back down 154 pounds, bro. If he can come back down to 154 pounds, um, that'd be pretty incredible. But if he do come down, he's gonna get beat down by Terrence Bud Crawford. Not, not, not because of the 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 skill gap. Right, because I think Crawford is a much more uh, cleaner fighter than Jamel Charlo. Um, him coming down and wait, look how big he is with Canelo Alvarez. Now Canelo Crawford, I think that's some people is going to be talking about. Of course, Canelo said he's going to be fighting Jamal likely next after Jamel, but he got to get past Jamel in order for that to even happen. But I think Crawford might likely be in the mix. Now, will he fight Jamel? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he, maybe because Crawford and wants Jamel as an undisputed fight, and Jamel did say he's going back down to defend his throne. So we're going to see if he's one of these guys, one of the rare guys that can go down and still make something happen. But seeing how big he is when he's next to Canelo Alvarez, it's like wow. How could this dude go back down to 154? I think he could, at the very least, go back down to 160. But we got us also. This is this could all mean nothing. If he don't get past Canelo. And looking at Canelo Alvarez, I always I felt like he was on a decline more recently, right? But if he's able to show up in this fight, I think his style could possibly give, and his experience, not to mention, could give Jamel trouble. Canelo has an iron chin. And Jamel Charlo, in my opinion, can get really sloppy at times. Right? He can get kind of sloppy in there. Canelo Alvarez likely won't get rattled or stunned by any punch like Brian Castano did. And we saw how Brian Castano, who's kind of a similar stature of a guy like Canelo, Canelo don't throw as many punches. He's a little bit more, I guess Canelo's a little bit more defensive than Brian Castano, but Canelo has a shit ton of experience with excellent head movement. And really just Canelo Alvarez knows what he's doing in there. And initially I felt like Jamel could beat Canelo, but... Just watching some of Jamel fights more recently is like, oh, I see a lot of things that, you know, an elite fighter like maybe a Canelo or even Crawford could capitalize on. So I'm I'm up in the air on who's gonna win that fight as of right now. I'm I'm it's fifty fifty for me right now still. Uh, I might I'm slightly leaning towards Canelo though. I'm slightly leaning towards Canelo because I think Jamel Charlo right now has too much respect for him. I think he's going to have too much. See, Bevo didn't have that respect like that. Bevo came to win. We're going to see if Jamel Charlo is going to come to win. But whatever the case, I would like to see either guy face Terrence Crawford next. I would like to see what Canelo Alvarez has to say about facing Terrence Crawford. And Canelo Alvarez gets asked about Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford said he'll fight Canelo Alvarez at like a catch weight, maybe 158 pounds. Check out what Canelo had to say. ¿Qué le dices a Crawford que dice que quiere un tiro contigo en Cacho y 158 libras? No, lo mismo, creo que en inglés o... I can't, I can't go down anymore. But I, you know, like he say, you know, when they ask him for the Germont the fight, they don't want to get credit for that fight. It's the same for me. I don't, I don't need to take that fight because everybody's going to say, it's too small, it's too small, it's too small. And then, you know... 
He, uh, he needs to enjoy his fight. Okay. He deserves it. He deserves it. What do you think of the fight? Oh, I, 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 I like Spence, but uh, you know, I like Spence and all the respect for him and everything, but I knew. I knew. I think it's uh, the, the, the type, of, type of fight uh, Terrence Crawford is, is fighter is, 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 is different. All right, thank you. Now, to hear what Canelo had to say, it's safe to say he ain't really looking to fight Terrence Crawford like that, similar to how Crawford feels about Tank Davis. That's pretty much what Canelo said. He ain't going to get no credit. He's too small, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not quite sure, though. Canelo Alvarez said he's very small. 147 and 168, he's a small guy. He's going to be smaller than most guys he's going to be facing. They said the size difference between him and Jamel. I don't know. Look, will Canelo fight Crawford? Nah, I don't think so. Crawford had to come up to 168 pounds. Crawford said he can't go up that high. So, we, I guess we can scratch that one, right? But will Jamel Charlo come back down and make something happen? We're going to find out. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.